Hi, I'm Jake, and this is my software idea of Boathouse Drive meant for marinas and marina customers. The problem here is that there's been a lack of communication between marinas and boat owners, and more so of just the people who own boats in the luxury level, they're just too busy to deal with them. They just want to get rid of them, especially here in Florida with uh, people traveling home for the winters and summers. So when they're going back and forth between their second homes and they come down here and the last thing they're trying to deal with up north when they're at work is, hey, your boat needs to come in for maintenance. We need you to call in or come in person to schedule this maintenance or cleaning services or your boat's been sitting in the rack for too long. It probably needs to be getting ran. Um, so it creates a lot of like little constraints and stuff like that. And then even with customers that do live down here full time, uh, they're running into problems with little maintenance things, such as like they're getting rust all over their nuts and bolts of it. It's because it's not getting sprayed down or uh, just regular cleaning issues that get gunk in areas that just haven't get run and boats need to be ran all the time. You don't want gas sitting in the tank too long. You don't want the motor sitting there too long. They're meant to be ran. And uh, ran properly. So if you don't have people that understand the full aspects of aspects of uh, boating, then you run into many issues leading down the road, leading to boat constantly being in service, which is the biggest pain in the ass. And other than that, you just got to you, you got to use them. And this is the way that the problem that most people are having in today's boat care. One of my customer personas is the guy that I kind of base it around of uh it was named Colin Sexton. About most of my clients would probably be around 40 to I would say 60, 65. Uh this guy occupation, I chose custom home building. Uh just somebody that's runs their own business. They're gonna need to have lots of money to be able to own a boat and then want to buy a product like this where he doesn't have time to take care of it. He's gonna be running stuff uh it shows his location is boulder colorado his second home is going to be obviously in florida and he doesn't want to deal with his boat when he travels back to boulder for his job when he gets there no thing in mind is going to be about boats it's going to be working it's going to be his family all the, all the whole nine yards up there uh education i put no degree he could have a degree it could be doctors we have many doctors at the marinas uh could be anything really just that's not really a necessary thing but just somebody that's working constantly um <clears throat> interest boating obviously fishing skiing i chose that for him but mostly all of my customers gonna want boating and fishing and then they're gonna have like some outside hobby that doesn't have to deal with florida and probably be up north or something like that that gets them away for the wintertime months or get them away for the summertime months in Florida so we can handle their boat. Um, other than that, he's just, he, a customer that I'm looking for is really just looking for luxury and uh, top-notch customer service so he doesn't have to deal with anything. Everything's kind of lined up for him. He hops on the boat, runs his boat, has fun, and doesn't need to be worried about when he gets back cleaning and doing little maintenance or maybe his 100-hour service or, hey, we saw your boat hit 300 hours or something. He doesn't want to deal with that. My hypothesis for this is there's a simple user from the app that controls everything and it needs to be done on a boat. Uh, customer wants Marina to handle everything and know everything about their boat. They just want to. They just want to have fun on it. They don't want to deal with all the side hustle of the problems and little key things that you have to deal with on a boat. Uh, in overall, they just want it to be easy. They want to be as simple as possible. If they can hop on the boat, go out for the day, have fun at the sandbar with their family, and then come back home and hop off the boat and not have to think for a second like, oh. Do I need to wash it down? The salt water is going to get to, oh, do I need to do this? Do I need to clean up this? Did I check the bilge pumps? Did I spray the bilge pumps? Did I do my maintenance on my engines? Nobody wants to deal with that. That's just too much. So my test results is I interviewed a couple of people 
over the phone that I knew that owned boats or uh, clients that I've had in the past. I've also uh, looked into people that uh, were at my marina, just asked them a few questions. And three out of five interviews said they would love this app. They would love for them to just plug something in their boat. And then marine the marina just kind of knows everything for them. And uh, the other two said they wish their marina, like they wish they would have a marina that did it for them. They wouldn't really necessarily get a app itself that they plug into something and not keep their boat at a marina, which could just kind of show me that it needs to be provided only to like a software that I sell right to marinas instead of just a product to personal use of people's boats. But uh, a couple of quotes I got was when I bought the boat, I had a captain go through the first thing, explain everything, but sometimes you got to overload information. I think this is a key uh, quote because it just shows there's so much that you have to learn with the owning a boat from driving to maintenance and cleaning and just every little nook and cranny on that thing you have to know about and what happens if you hit the dock a little hard, maybe you get scraped, can you buff it out? Can Do I need to get a whole new gel coat? Just all the stuff like that. And there's always like little key things with just like how many hours you put on it. You need to get a checkup. You need to get your routine service, just stuff like that, that not a lot of people like remember. So if our app can kind of pitch this towards them or have our marine, their marina do it for them, or they say, hey, it's your 100 hour service. We're going to put it in the shop because it needs it type thing. But the biggest change I had to make was going away from general cleaning. Most people struggle with dealing with the service part of it and how they're prevented. Uh, the cleaning aspect, I mean, they can usually just call someone already and get it all clean. Or some people uh, really enjoy just cleaning it themselves. It's like a peace of mind thing, I think, for them. Just hanging out by the marina and spraying it all down, soaping it all up. My solution is a goal that enhances pleasure building experience by consistently developing or by the experience by developing software that enables you and your marine to easily schedule maintenance and other necessary care for your boat with just touch up a button. So really just want you to hop on your phone. If you need your boat put in the water, click splash boat, put it in on harbor, fill with gas. You can put it in the notes and it's all done for you. So you can just hop on or even just like your marina sends you a message through and says, hey, time for your 100-hour service. We're pulling it in for service. Just so you have a heads up, but nothing that you got to worry about. Um, another thing could be just putting on a work rack for someone like, hey, I'm getting somebody to install a, a, a trolling motor and I'm not going to be there. Can you put it on a work rack? And you just schedule a time slot to put it on a work rack. Um just all kind of needs that you kind of need cleaning services. Um, if you need a captain to just run your boat, you haven't been in there for a while, or, hey, can you hop on my boat, check out, see if there's anything damaged. There's a storm that rolled through, and marinas can do this all through the app and move your boat around without you're not, like without you needing to hop on the app or even do anything. So even with the touch of the button, I hope that it'd be so easy that customers wouldn't even have to uh, – touch on the button, they would just have it all done for them is a grand scheme of things. And just being able to have your credit card put in there, it's all paid through the app. Services, like cleaning services go through the marina, through the software, the pay, or like charge you out. So your credit cards aren't getting buffled everywhere at the different companies. It's all ran through one single company and it comes through the marina. How it works is it's 24 7 app allows you to schedule uh moves at the marina so splash obviously and all that like i said in person and you just don't have to go in you don't have to call ahead you don't have to let your boats in the water overnight it gets taken out for you it gets put back in the next day if you want it just all that and then you also have a chip that be plugged into your software on your uh any screen you got like ray marine garments and it tracks how many hours you've used a boat, how often, if you get alarms and stuff, they can read it and then get art. Like before you even come in, if they're reading the alarms and they get that connect and they can start looking at the problem already and be down there waiting for you when you pull in with your boat with 
you lost maybe one engine, just stuff like that. Just everything under the sun of owning a boat, they would all know and deal with it for you. Just so you just maybe have to hit maybe one or two buttons on the app and that's it. Solution validation. This is how um, I looked at uh, in the bottom. I have this photo of here of other competition type softwares and uh, I think we line up cross service boat moves, appointments, customer data, GPS, credit card processing, the whole nine yards of owning a boat. Uh, the only people that I think are her real competitors, Boat Cloud, which is a big company, I think, that is kind of taking over and going in the same direction as what I'm saying. But the only thing they're missing is the service department, the GPS, and the credit card processing. They're really just about a, like a scheduling app. So they schedule all the data and stuff, and they don't really do customer data. Like they put in like your boat's stuff like that in a way and where you live and obviously in that in your that type of stuff but other than i wouldn't say they have customer data in the fact of like hey you have 100 hours on your boat you have 500 hours on your boat hey you haven't used your boat in three months i kind of want that just to show customers like they're not show customers but show marinas hey like this guy's boat needs to be ran this guy's boat needs to be serviced and then the other two don't really have anything that I'm looking into. Boatyard obviously has like the service so they can charge people through it and stuff like that. And they hold a little bit of the customer data, but still not what I was looking for. Uh, Navionics is obviously just a GPS type thing. And then they have a credit card processing thing through it too. But I would also have my website more directed toward marinas because I think that's the way I'm going to have to uh, sell more. So... Uh, I also want to, I got a little up, updates on my website with, uh, it needs like a contact now area where they can cl like click on and make a phone call to and stuff like that. And then uh, just showing off the app on like example of like, here's how it looks, stuff like that, just so people can scroll through and take a look and see how the app would work, obviously. But and then customer relationships, how are we going to gain them? I really think everything is going to be boat shows because that's the main majority of where boat owners and marinas are going to be at. So not only am I going to be pitching the people that are trying to buy a, buy a boat per se, and you're seeing these customers that are going to be downloading this app on their phone and could use it for personal use, but I think I'm going to try to go away from that. Uh, but the GMs and the salesmen and the, I mean, the service techs and service managers are all going to be at these boat shows, uh, pitching boats to people and dealing with problems there already. And if I can make their lives e easier, just with all this type of stuff and pitch this to them when they're, I just catch them walking through, I think this could be a huge area that I can gain. I'm also going to be trying to go around town locally first, uh, where I'm going to start pitching these, uh, this app to to marinas in general, just the the managers to see if this could create their employee lives easier and better is what I also wrote here, um, because I think that's going to be the main majority is if you're an employee and you're trying to see your services that could be done before it's happening. If you can see it a mile ahead of when the customer is going to see it and then be able to tell you, it's going to make your lives easier. It's going to make your scheduling easier. And it's also going to make customers who are on these boats lives tons like tons of easier and like even calling these customers that are about to buy a boat and getting it all through i mean the sales channel of it too being added on this boat and getting them to want to buy boats through this app and stuff like that uh could be a huge hit for them uh because they obviously make it easier and they could send boats to them and test out boats and all sorts of things my sales channel uh would obviously it'd be on the app store and then uh personal boat owners would download it pay this little subscription but if i go to just marina clients i'd sell the software to the marina and then have them also have their customers download it and then i think i could charge like a yearly fee or something uh just get a little more money from the customers and not the marina but have the marina pay the big portion of it Key activities, 
obviously we're going to be at boat shows a ton we're going to be marketing to marinas we're going to be providing uh like training and software training and improving the software to all the marina employees especially and then having these customers be able to hop on the app and be easily like easily move through it uh and we also want or like after we train the employees and uh in marinas that use it we wanted them to be able to train other people like their customers so they can easily hop on the app and do whatever a couple of resources we're going to be using google analytics will be a big one we want to see the website clicks we want to see all that the whole nine yards uh we're going to have canva to be making our type of marketing campaigns and brochures and stuff like that that we can hand out business cards Big Jamie can also create like an app profile to like kind of design how your app would look. And then I can put this on my website and stuff like that, just so it all lines up and looks really good and shows off or like our improvements and stuff like that, just to give an example. Uh, bubble for the credit card processing and all that stuff and customer data. I want to be able to have tons of data on every customer, obviously. So I'm going to need something that we'll pack it all on there <clears throat> then we we'll also have hubspot which is a sales platform that would be i would try to inundate this into all my softwares so it's all ran through the same thing but if i could get hubspot to the not only create leads for me as a marina or like pitching to marinas but also to uh people who are buying boats if i can create a hubspot like a sales channel that proves that my app can do the same thing and get customers for marinas. I think that could be a huge hit and get people want to join on just with my customer database being so big. And then key partners, uh, like obviously going to be in marinas. If I can get into big marinas, big nationwide marinas, stuff like that, uh, that'd be the biggest uh, entry level thing. Like I said, uh, as Marine Max is a huge one that you could just go right into and then have like 70 locations if you work out great at the first one. Uh, another one would probably be boat manufacturers. I think if we could get boat manufacturers to have these installed on the boat or have like the app and the downloaded service as a like an add-on service that people would just buy right away, I think that could be a huge hit just to get more purchases off uh off the boat person buying the boat without them even having the no per se but just having that like service done for them when they buy that boat could also elevate the brand of the boat so that'd be a huge partner and then obviously uh boat influencers investors people to get the eyes of the customer and just get money to grow the software because obviously software like this is gonna probably take tons of money to invest and uh, just the labor hours of it and getting a good sales team to pitch it all over the country and all over the world. Uh, our cost structure, we're going to be spending a lot of money in just marketing and research and development, I think, are going to be our top three. Uh, the marketing is just going to be pitching to everyone across the country and we're going to need big amounts of money to market to country i mean we'd start local first and then country and just keep moving across and the research and development's going to be a huge part just and you always got to be improving adapt or die type of thing and i wanted it to be running smoothly and be the like just luxury cheap piece of like software equipment that people undoubtedly want to use and feel great using um the labor is going to be a huge part with paying employees and software developers to do this. Um, travel for boat shows and event setups are all gonna be in boat display, are all gonna be under the same one as just things to market really per se. So you're gonna be moving around all, all over Florida and stuff like that first, trying to hit every boat show possible just so you can get eyes on the product. Um, in which they cost quite a bit if because you're gonna have to have a boat to show with the app on there and then like computer set up for them just so they see how the whole uh, operation kind of works 
Um, and then next is insurance. Obviously, we're going to need that. And then website pricing, credit card processing, all many things that come with just owning a business in general. Here's our revenue model. On the left is what I'm charging for. Uh, what I would charge for marinas per like year, I would say, uh, is for marinas over 30 customers is item one and item two is uh, for marinas under 30 customers. So they'd obviously char be charged at different rates for how many customers they're really bringing in and then give them this monthly fee or they could pay yearly for a discounted pro price. But I think it costs about $50 in goods and services just to put on the boat and install on everyone's boat or not everyone's boat, but install uh, the software download. Uh, obviously, it's everyone. And then I also have direct cost of labor. I think, I mean, just in time of installing it and training and showing these people, I think it costs around $150 uh, at the end all. So I think we got big margins on it, which are absolutely huge margins compared to many companies. But I think this, as time goes on and the more you sell, it's obviously going to be brought down a little bit because labor and cost of goods are going to start going up with sales and if we're getting a bigger team and servicing and uh, having the servicing crew that we can go out there and fix IT problems. And then over here on the right side, uh, we have the revenue of each year. And we see, we start off with a decent size net profit with 15,000 and so they move up to 80,000 range in year 2025. Um, I think we do, per se, run a little hot in some other areas, which brings our margin like kind of down because we just have a lot of expenses in some areas, even though we have our good gross profit in the beginning. Uh, our break-even analysis would be 14.7, then 21, and then 26. So as time moves on, we're obviously going to be spending a little bit more money, but if we are selling, then our break-even is going to be... Uh, not anything to worry about because it doesn't take too big of jumps after you start getting from 24 to 25. It really just takes a huge jump from 23 to 24. But critical factors, big marinas. Uh, that's a huge thing for us. I mean, it's just getting in the door, getting the time of day. Um, you really have to start at local, I would say. Um, just, I mean, it's hard to get the attention of like just huge uh, corporate marinas and stuff. So if you get with the little local brands around here and start building a relationship and showing that like they can catch up to these big corporate marinas and do great service, I think that could be tremendous for us because it'll catch the attention of corporates. And then we go across the state, which people are have big marinas statewide and the big, biggest and best. And as we grow, we're going to have to keep expanding and expanding. So you're going to talk about country. I mean, there's marinas everywhere. I mean, like in the middle of nowhere, you can find a marina and probably Montana. So uh, the more we can do and more we can reach out, it just be a huge progress and uh, keep moving up the ladder of employees and stuff to get in every little state in every country and maybe even international with these huge marinas at the building over in Monaco and uh, British Virgin Islands and all these, but we're going to gain traction early and keep it coming. So it, it just get, it'd be really hard to first gain traction because you're shooting for a software service. So it's hard to catch the attention of people. So we're going to have to find different ways of market. We're going to have to, find ways to get in the front door and sit people down and just get a hold of high level arena owners and managers to so really grab them. And then the complexity of it, I just think a big factor of all of this is just creating the software because there's so many moving parts with having this app that does everything for you. So you're going to have to be able to actually have captains that are lined up to actually take boats and run them. You're going to have to have the service factors. I mean, we don't want to have them missing out. So these marinas got to have people that are really uh, well-staffed already 
because if we shoot them this app that only half, not even half the products where it's just maybe they have a service department and your boats are already in the water. I mean, then what is our app going to really do for you? So I think the complexity is going to be really solely dependent on how big these marinas are. And when you start local and small, then it's going to be hard for them to use every little thing that we offer. So that'll be the biggest uh, complexity that we run into and factor that could damage us. My overall recommendation, they can, uh, recommendation is, uh, I mean, it's a maybe. Uh, I don't know if it has tremendous upside or not. Uh, I think it could be a very good uh, software platform, platform, but I think you'd have to find some type of in that you have already to big corporate marinas in uh, big marinas nationwide that have all the services we can help provide and like get it all organized for them. The revenue part of it is what uh, really scares me because I would love to be able to do this for just customers, um, like in the aspect of like, they just download the app, keep their boat at their dock and they can get a captain to run over to their house, take their boat out while they're not there. It's just so that it's getting ran and stuff, but I don't think it's actually possible because I don't think you could really charge enough to have all the all have this and have these services where captains can hop on there. So I think we'd have to stick with marinas only. Definitely in the beginning at least. Oh is it possible to make? Uh I think so, but like we said earlier, there's just a lot of moving parts. I think it's really gonna be uh a business tool only to organize everything and just be solely sought after to marina because i mean a marina has a lot of moving parts you got sales you got service you got care you got uh storage you got uh, people moving boats in moving boats out getting things checked insurances and then credit cards snacks all i mean just everything in a marina is just like one huge grocery store times 10 so you're gonna have to have a lot of moving parts and it's gonna be hard to maintain and do overall um but overall i give this business idea a six out of ten i think i could look into deeper things on it and uh see what really i could offer in niche type things that could maybe stand out at local marine marinas that could help them in more ways run a business without having to be there um but overall not a bad idea but not a great idea at the same time Thank you.